Hi guys, this is TKS18 from Roblox Studio, as you can see. This time I sort of created something a little bit unique. Yeah. As you can see, this uh, pixel display thing over here, and we got the big model here. What I've done is, you know in games, where we got... Uh, like the, your graphics card renders the scene of a game, like uh, your any kind of game, like, uh, I don't know, like World of Warcraft, out, just out of the blue, where you got uh, a scene where you're fighting the monsters and everything else. All that data that you're doing gets uh, put to the screen. Well, basically I've done something similar to that, where I've got a camera, which is behind us, which is basically just a brick, which is rendering the screen. At the moment, it's, uh, as you can see, it's quite far away. What I'm going to do is show it in operation. It is actually running now, live, and it's updating to this, uh, this screen. Right, here we go. I'm going to rotate this. There we go. Yeah, it's running really laggy. There we go. And let's move it up and down, just just to prove it's uh, actually rendering. If that wasn't it wasn't enough. Basically, what I'm using here is a ray cast system, which is we've got here. So I finally figured out how to properly use them. <laughs> it's still not 100% because I think the max distance times the the length of the ray or something is not quite right. That's why the uh, camera's so far away. So, but anyway, it is working as far as updating the screen and everything else. I was uh, working on my there. Yeah, the way I sort of came about it was I was working on my screen printer, and I thought rather than putting data in the code for the pictures, I might so do a live cast thing where I can do a ray cast per pixel that's basically what that's doing where you got uh, 25 width, 25 height and of course that's the distance between the camera and the actual scene so we got here I'm going through that number there is how fast my computer is running at the moment per frame that took a little bit to work out <laughs> And, that, and I did not work it out by calculator, I cheated and used a delta time switch uh, script to work out the difference between two frames. It's actually quite easy to do if you want to work out how to do that. Anyway, I'll talk about that in another video. This is about the camera thing this time. I'll try not to get too sidetracked with this one. So basically, what this is doing is sending out a ray like we got, if I do a little editing here, we got 25 across, I don't know how many that is, and 25 down. Oh, no, it's not meant to be that, it's meant to be, where are you line? Come on keyboard. It's meant to be a line down anyway, so let's do those for the line down. <coughs> Basically what this is doing is it's doing the width first because I'm starting off at zero I had to do minus one on the width because otherwise because Lua always starts from one to how many you want to go and because I'm starting off from zero I had to minus one for my width oh go away what's the hell's going on with that anyway so basically what I'm doing is I'm going through the pixels for the width, that's uh, 0 to 25, or in this case 0 to 24, which would be 25 width, and then it's going through the height at the same time. Kind of like a telly, how the telly sort of scans. Then we got, then we got the actual uh, C frame of the camera, which is set there, times by the vector of the new the new uh, position, like we've got the top left up here, that'd be uh, 
let's see if I can get this right, that'd be 0 0.2 and that'll be 0 I guess and that'd be max distance would be 250 or whatever that's going to be then what I'm doing is calling that into my ray, creating a new ray getting the camera position as the ray normally sort of works and then the length of the uh, well, the magnitude between the two points which is the camera position and the ray end then then what I'm doing is just calling a basic function called find part on ray which returns the distance uh, sorry position and then the what it's hit and basically what I'm doing is just going through the screen bricks which is here Find out, finding if it's if it's there by indexing the x and y, which is that's the top one that we just uh, that we just talked about x and y equals zero zero. Then all I'm doing is just changing the color from black to white or white to black. Black if there's nothing there and white if there's something there. So yeah. As I move that around, that's basically what all that's doing. What I'm hoping to do with this code eventually is possibly some kind of shape recognition system. So I can use it for my uh, AI scripts and everything else. The reason why I'm thinking about doing something like this is because I'm getting tired of uh, going through or finding things in the code like we got that's calling one of my AI cars uh, my models let's have a look I should have got this prepared <coughs> anyway do, do, do. here we go calling that oh yeah by the way I'm actually working on version 2 of these turrets so yeah <laughs> basically what I'm getting bored of doing is get checking to see if it's a turret or if it's a humanoid that sort of thing if I can actually get a shape recognition system up and running I'll be able to see what that is in fact we can actually see it on the screen you see that that's quite cool right here we go that proves that it is actually updating and let's see if we can actually move that down a bit to get it on screen Ah, I don't want the screen as well. I want that and that. And it's glitching out. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah, so basically, if you watch the screen, it might go across the screen. There we go. Ah, missed it. Yeah, basically what I'm doing is uh, trying to do that shape recognition thing I wanted to reset the scene that's not what I wanted anyway so yeah this has been Tiaza in Roblox Studio and I'll catch you guys later